Hey, what's up? This is Hunter from Tortoise and Hare Software, and today I wanted to walk through a little bit of a uh, year-end website analysis in Google Analytics that can, and just kind of walk through my thought process there on like what I'm looking at from a year-end sort of perspective um, when thinking about what to do in 2022. Um, so I'm gonna pop over here to screen capture here. Um, and this right here is Google Analytics and um, I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit but um, I've set the I'm on my uh, kind of primary filtered view here which is a um, limited to US only traffic and has a few other kind of filters in it so it's not on raw traffic but it's the most relevant traffic um, and I've kind of configured a January to December 31, 2021 and hit compare to um, previous year on the Google Analytics here. Um, I'm on the acquisition overview report right now and this is just going to kind of give a snapshot of overall traffic mostly by channels. Um, so kind of looking at this report you know the you know the good things are um, traffic was up 40% uh, throughout the year so that's great uh, we can see that that was driven primarily by organic search um, direct traffic is also up as well I spent a lot of time in slack channels this year um, so a lot of the links that I sent out to slack channels uh, count as direct traffic um, you know, I could get better about campaign tagging URLs, so they kind of came in as a more referral traffic, but, you know, that's kind of the most likely source of a lot of that direct traffic. Um, uh, the display definitely invested in kind of pay-per-click uh, quite a bit this year. Um, social was only up a little bit, which is disappointing because I've spent a lot of time on social and would hope to have seen that more, but I also think a lot of people would reach out and engage with me directly on social and don't necessarily hit the website as much, um, which is fine. Uh, paid search, again, up you know 30% here. Uh, email was down. Email is not a huge priority for me, but it's going to be in 2022. So. Um, over here on the conversions, um, you know, the traffic was up 40%, but goal conversion rate or uh, goal completions, which is like newsletter subscriptions, contact form bills, um, free consultations booked, um, you know, all the various like, you know, things I'm trying to get people to do on the website um, was up 180%, which is awesome and definitely makes a lot of sense because uh, about midway through this year I kind of shifted focus from traffic building um, more towards you know kind of generating leads from the traffic um, definitely like added a bunch of new offers this year to the site and um, you know promoted them more um, we can kind of see that uh, you know organic search conversions were up quite a bit direct not so much um, display advertising was definitely a big driver of like newsletter subscriptions um, so that was up 1600 percent and paid search conversions were up 45 percent so um, you know you can pretty much see if you compare the um, increase in traffic versus the uh, increase in conversions the you know there was like an outsized return as far as like the um, conversion rates of the traffic so you can definitely see in the numbers that I both grew traffic and grew conversion rates um, of that traffic throughout the year um, so you know that's just kind of like analyzing the traffic in general um, I'm gonna pop over here to another couple of reports um, that just illustrate some various things um, so this is like an alternate view, more of a tabular view of the um, same kind of channels report. Um, but you can kind of see like the more conversion rates by channel and um, 
kind of the year comparison here. So organic search last year was only converting 0.6% and got you know one conversion there, and that jumped to about half percent and got a 15 uh, conversions. Um, definitely not what I would have hoped for. I would have hoped for more, but um, you know kind of like a big part of my you know, strategy here for generating these leads is to get people to the website once via organic search and then retarget them with display advertising, paid search advertising, and you know paid media to actually kind of you know get them to make the actual conversions um, or you know get them to follow on social, etc. So definitely is going to be a kind of goal for 2022 to get this up but um, there was some improvement direct was about the same uh, display you can see that you know substantial increase only four conversions last year jumped that up to 61 this year and increased the conversion rate quite a bit definitely worked a lot on display campaigns this year um, social was about the same paid search, increased conversion rates and conversion volume, um, and referral traffic has also gone up. And, you know, the referral is kind of an extension of social a lot of times. So that a lot of referral traffic, if you look, is gonna come from LinkedIn or Reddit, um, but, uh, and YouTube. And YouTube's gonna be a huge focus in 2022 for me. So good to see that like these kind of more middle funnel this middle funnel channel uh, referral, which is you know primarily going to be social referrals, has a much higher conversion rate than other channels. Um, so that tells me like you know, as people hit that middle funnel, they become more interested, and you know things are progressing as I would expect them to. Uh, the the ugly here is the email. Um, only three conversions came from email. Um, I've been doing a newsletter for pretty much the whole time I've been running tortoise and hair software and I have not been happy with the results at all um, and you can see that in the numbers here that's just you know terrible and when I was looking at kind of benchmarking reports in the mid-year um, definitely noticed that like benchmarking my site versus other marketing uh, sites that you know, I had way too low of email traffic and way too low of conversions in that benchmark report. So this whole past month of December, um, over Christmas, I've been working on building a email automation sequence to get more email traffic, get more contact with the people that are actually engaged with the, the brand and have subscribed to the newsletter list. Um, so, you know, part of that's been because the email subscribers are growing, but part of it's been just like, you know, I know that other companies are having success with email and need to get on that. And also just with privacy regulations coming down the pipeline, um, limiting the effect is, or like reducing the effectiveness of like paid uh, advertising, like paid search and paid social and whatnot. Uh, getting people's email and taking advantage of those emails is going to be important for everyone in 2022. You may have heard like the importance of first party data. So that's just that. So some more kind of lessons in, in that report. Um, so this was like a top exit pages report. The only thing that I kind of saw here that I wanted to quickly highlight is just like from last year to this year as part of working conversion rate I saw that the exit rate of the home page went down only 5% but you know that's such a key page you always have to be checking out your home page performance there's still work to do on the home page um, to get that where you know I want it to but like you definitely don't want people you know if, if you be, get people to your home page which really needs to be the best page on your website um, you know you want them to find reasons to continue browsing around from there. So, um, lesson, lesson there. Um, uh, and then this is like an interest slash in market segments report. Um, you know, the, the good thing about this report uh, that I wanted to look at is like, am I reaching the right people? Um, so, this kind of like Google 
lumps your traffic into in-market segments and it's only going to get a sampling of data thankfully like traffic is high enough that you know a lot of this is actually finally meaningful um, but you know the number one kind of uh, in-market segment of people that re I reached was for business services advertising and marketing services um, so boom that's exactly who I'm trying to reach so that's great there was you know 35% growth in this segment you know the next kind of segments from there are web design and development uh, employment you know I'm still a, a solo right now but it's at some point uh, would like to get around to hiring so it's good to see some people are at least job searching and I do have people reaching out that want to work are inquiring so you know that's good that that happens but not there yet um, this is and then some of these other things are just kind of general business categories um, one of the like bigger growth segments here was people searching for SEO and SEM which is good because that's definitely a focus um, trying to get uh, more involved in the SEO and SEM sort of uh, game so would hope this would rise a little bit higher to the top in 2022 um, so that's you know a good thing to check is like you know are you reaching the right people are you reaching the people that want you know want that you want to buy your services so good to see that that um, was both the case and that there was growth in those uh, segments um, year over year this is a another kind of behavioral uh, slash demographic analysis that Google can reply, uh, provide called the affinity categories um, and I just wanted to highlight something here and you know the top affinity category reached was value shoppers um, so in that sense I do not want to reach value shoppers so that tells me uh, that there's a perception that you know this is a I mean it's there a lot of my audience is not wrong in this regard but um, that tortoise and hare is more of like a value based company in terms of like value for the money and I really want to like position as more of a luxury offering like reach more high-end buyers um, that are looking for kind of the best service and value more of like the technical uh, skill set that I can bring to the table that um, a lot of other agencies who are more creatively focused may not be able to offer so homework for 2022 is to work to uh, change perceptions from a <coughs> um, value uh, offering to more of a luxury offering um, outside of that you know some other things you know reaching technophiles um, movie lovers and just people that are more interested in like media and fitness business professionals so um, not too much to take away there but just in general reaching the right people since technophiles is number two and I'm doing marketing for technology companies so that's that is good um, last report I wanted to kind of highlight here is this new uh, versus returning report um, and you know you can kind of see you drove a ton more you know new visitors to the site from 2020 to 2021 um, bounce rate was down session duration is up but um, actually lost a few returning visitors uh, to the site but the of the returning vis visitors 650 of them they had a thousand sessions and had a decent sort of um, session duration also had a higher conversion rate um, you know in 2020 it was 1% amongst the returning visitors bumped that up to 2.45% um, but overall I definitely need to like increase this kind of ratio of returning visitors to new visitors um, and yeah but anyways so you know I looked around in analytics at a number of different reports and kind of picked out a few to highlight here in this video and kind of just wrote down a few kind of high-level goals um, based off looking at the analytics of 2020 versus 2021 um, and the kind of primary goals are 
based off looking at the analytics is I need to work on increasing conversion rates from organic traffic um, you know it's uh, I, I get so many people coming into the site from the blog slash organic uh, means that definitely need to figure out a way to um, engage them a little bit better and help them um, convert more so I'm gonna take a look at content strategy um, you know messaging on certain posts and things like that and uh, blog design to see if I can get that bumped up um, then I definitely also like we just kind of talked about at the end there want to re-engage existing visitor base um, need to you know where I'm at in the growth journey um, I, I definitely have like kind of done quite a bit of prospecting for the past three years in terms of like getting the, getting the name out there building the traffic base um, getting paid search campaigns rolling and just like in general like kind of getting the machine up and running and then now I just need to f I need to focus more in 2022 on you know like helping that audience nurture along um, of the you know and understand more about how I can help them because there's still some some work to be done there um, and then just uh, increasing site navigability um, like to get more like engaged ses sessions I don't have like the worst numbers there but um, definitely would like to get more of like two or three pages per session instead of just like you know one and a half which usually means like a couple you know half the audience is doing two two pages per session and then the other half is doing like single page visits or whatever but definitely would just like to get site navigability up to like get them to look at a couple different you know offers um, take a look at um, what can be done there to like increase kind of pages per session slash um, how people are interacting with the site a little bit um, and then the last one is just continue to work on positioning in the market to change from a value-based offering to more of a luxury offering so uh, this is most likely a copywriting issue and um, you know I know I need to do some things like break up uh, paragraphs into more digestible text and um, just overall kind of maybe bring a little bit more of a luxury feel to the site um, that is one of the big challenges of being a solopreneur is I am not a great designer um, at all I definitely lean more to the technical side than the creative side so it's hard for me to kind of put together designs that pro project that luxury offering as a solopreneur but definitely one of the things that I want to hire for you know your weaknesses or whatever whenever I can get to the point of hiring employees so designer is going to be definitely one of the first hires whenever I get there um, but you know I'm gonna see what I can do to change that perception throughout the course of the year um, you know since the blog is up and running organic traffic is really like kinda of humming at this point I'm gonna be shifting focus to video marketing in 2022 um, and since that's more of a higher touch media uh, I expect that will help but um, yeah so anyways this is just the kind of overview of um, a, a year-end analysis and you know what I might look at um, when analyzing a website's uh, traffic um, I'm gonna be doing kind of similar analysis for my retainer clients and talking with them about what the needs are what the plans uh, should be for 2022 to help them you know drive more traffic generate more leads and grow their businesses um, and if you aren't doing this sort of analysis and you've been in business business for a couple years or you're not tracking uh, the right things on your website you're not um, you don't have a you know properly configured analytics installation then you're missing out and you're missing out on a huge opportunity and you're kind of behind the curve as far as um, you know what leading businesses are doing in the marketplace to become more competitive and um, develop better relationships with their audience and uh, if you want to change that definitely reach out book a free consultation on the website 
and we can talk more about getting one of those analysis done or laying those performance measurement uh, foundations for your company. Um, but uh, yeah, so hope you liked this video. If you did, definitely uh, subscribe here on YouTube. Like I said, we're gonna be releasing a ton more video content throughout the year with helpful tips and uh, tricks to help you grow your business, uh, learn more about digital marketing, and understand how Tortoise and Hare software can help you uh, navigate the um, increased need for digital marketing and kind of the digital world that we live in. Um, so, all right, again, I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare software, and thanks for watching. Thank you.